Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Hannah, but that's not important because what is important is I have like just the very most important message to bring to you today. And that is everyone is being scammed out of money to pay for really good looking nails. That's right, you heard it here first. Or maybe you've known this for a long time, but you're like, Hannah, what am I supposed to do about it? I know I'm paying $75 every time I go to the nail salon, but like what other choice do I have? I've got the solution. I know you've been wondering how to save money on your nails. May I introduce the Olive and June Super Stick Manny. Super Stick Manny. Listen, I've been sleeping on this product. I think this came out at the end of last year and I had a box of these that I've just been waiting for the right occasion because the problem with me in doing my nails with something like this, with like a really cute nail design, is I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. I don't need to waste money on like really cute nails. I don't wanna waste these nails just to sit around the house. Like one thing I forgot about that, having cuter nails makes you a happier person. It overall boosts your mood. I know there's got to be like some scientific studies about this, but if you have cute nails, you're happier. One time I was sick and I was just having a bad week so I went and got my nails done. I was a happier person. I think that healed my illness. Could I really afford to do that at the time? No, but I did it. Was it responsible? No. I recently went on vacation with my mom and I was like, okay, perfect opportunity. I'm going to give these a try. I also had like a fun date night with my boyfriend and I was like, okay, I'll wear these. And then I go on vacation this next week so I can just continue on with these really cute nails. Like perfect, perfect, perfect opportunity. And then I can really see how they wear if they're gonna fall off mid vacation, if they're like really something worth endorsing. Guys, I had these on for a solid seven days, a solid week. Like I'm shocked by how good this is because it's no glue, it doesn't harm your nails, it is a tab, it's an adhesive tab. I could have kept them on longer, like that's a whole nother thing is like, I could have kept them on longer. Something about having something on your nail, I get antsy after probably a week and I'm like, I need to switch this up, like this is starting to feel like it's not a part of me, especially with like a gel nail from the nail salon. I've, I've gotta get this off of me, I've gotta get these off my fingers. But I always feel guilty because I'm like, I'm not getting my money's worth of my nail salon manicure. If you had to guess how much this was, what would you think? Wrong. Eight dollars. Eight dollars for this. Eight dollars for the cutest nails for a week. I'm sold. For Valentine's Day, I had on a cute design with little hearts on it. I was actually on vacation with my mom. A lot of moving around, a lot of it everywhere. I'm touching different things with these nails. Wasn't just laying around all week. So you know they, they stay on. I got complimented several times by strangers because you know, I'm on buses. I'm getting transported place to place. People are like, oh, I really like your nails. And I was like, they're actually press-ons. I was in so much disbelief that I'm like, can you believe these are press-ons? And I also thought to myself, oh, probably wear these again, take them off wear them again. No, you're not going to be able to wear them again because after that week of wear, they're pretty worn out. They're pretty worn out. They're tired. They're ready to be put into the trash can. Okay, so let me introduce you to the Super Stick Manny Press On Nails. These are the extra short in the design heart shower. The cutest thing I've ever seen. I've been waiting for the perfect opportunity to put these on. Am I doing anything? No. Once I've gotten a taste of the press on nails, I'm addicted. So I'm going to show you how to put these on, how easy the application is, just kind of give you some little tips and tricks because you do need to pay attention to the instructions when you put these on to ensure that they last the full seven days. So there's a learning curve. There's a learning curve, but I'm going to show you how to do it right. Okay, let's get into it. I'm going to do voiceover mode probably because the hands are going to be doing the talking, you know? Okay, let's get into it. So here we've got one box of extra short heart shower in the super stick mani. Kind of gives you the breakdown of what you're about to get yourself into. So let's just, let's open it up. This is gonna be most of your nails. We've got the kit. Most importantly, the tabs. You've got your buffer filer, your wooden stick to press your cuticles back, your prep pad, and your instructions. Very, very important, your instructions. I marked down my sizes from my last time. So this tells you everything that's in here. And you've got your instructions. I'd make sure to read it all. I might actually refresh myself a little bit before I get started. Don't forget about these nails. These are for sure still nails you're going to use. Where to start? Step one tells you you need to trim your nails fairly short and then you want to file and buff the surfaces. Mine are already pretty buffed from my last mani I did with these, but I do have some new growth. So I'm going to go in and push back my cuticles and file down and buff my nails. I am going to trim up my nails just a little bit. I've 
got them all buffed down and trimmed up. You just kind of want to make sure that you've got all those ridges smoothed out on your nails, but you really don't need to buff like super crazy. Just something sort of a light buffing is what they say for the adhesive to grab onto. Next up, I've got my old instructions from my last set that I told you about. Now you can see my sizes for all my fingers. There were a couple that I think I might adjust. So I'm going to go through all of the nails now and make sure to pick out my sizes. So how do I know what the sizes are? It shows you on here. Like one side will have the little logo and then one will have the number. And it tells you which side goes to where. The Olive and June logo, which honestly it's really light on this nail. It's on this side. Is gonna go to your cuticle. So you can kind of see the nail shape overall and more of like a thinner tip up top. I think there's two of each size. I'm not quite sure. I'm going through here and I remember this last time I left them, I decided that it was probably small, so next time I was gonna size up. So this is a size 11 nail. I think you might be able to see it slightly right there. And then you can see the Olive and June logo on the bottom. You wanna make sure that you've got the right end on the right towards your cuticle. This covers my entire nail. You can see that the sides aren't really showing. It might be peeking out a tad, but you want to size up. Overall, they tell you to size up if you're in between sizes. So for this time, I'm gonna go with an 11 on this. If you don't like the length, you can make them shorter by filing them down, but I think this is perfect. This is the extra short, by the way. I had the, just the short last time and I thought they were really cute and like perfect. I could still like do normal everyday things. Look how tiny that little nail is. That's why I think like these would work for little girls. These would work for people that have really small fingers. Like look how tiny that nail is. It's a little baby nail. So I've got my... 10 fingers all sized out. I ended up sizing up on a lot of them. So this is my size from this time and last time. Overall, I think the bigger size looks the best long-term and I think it stays on. It helps for things not getting stuck under your nail. Next step is to use the prep pad. So here's the prep pad. I think it's just like a little alcohol wipe. Get all the nasty lotion or residue on your nails. This is gonna clean it all off, making sure there's nothing that's gonna prevent the adhesive and the nail from sticking on as long as possible. Next, I think is the trickiest part. In comes the tabs. These purple things tend to be a little bit tricky. I'm gonna walk you through it. So first off, it says remove pink backing. It's a little bit confusing because you're like, what are you talking about? What pink backing? It kind of looks purple to me. So you're gonna take off this bit. Okay. Next up, you're gonna work off this back side that you just took the, the pink part off of. Grab your first nail and find the matching tab. Remove the purple liner tab. It's gonna be the trickiest part. Use the wheel to press this tab sticky. Side down on your natural nail. Hold for 30 seconds. Gently peel away, leaving the tab on your natural nail. Press nail onto the tab nail. Hold for 30 plus seconds. I know you might wanna take this entire purple part off with the tab, but you're just gonna kind of mess with it and get it off. That one came off fairly easy. Then we're gonna turn it around and you're going to put it down as far as you can close to your cuticle. So we're gonna go there, kind of just press it on top, then work it over to the sides. Hardest part is the bubbles, okay? You can kind of see a little bubbling action going on. We're just gonna press it out, kind of like you would with any bubbles, like on a screen or something. Just make sure you can press it outward and then we're gonna take this off. I don't know that this has been my best work, but you wanna line it up as best as possible. This is what it looks like on there right now. As you can see, I didn't really get over this side as much, but you're gonna take this. Okay, you can. this is easy because you can see the design and we're gonna put it right underneath your cuticle just a tad. And I think this is really the best tip to making this last and look as natural as possible. Last as long as possible, look as natural as possible. That is the goal. Okay, so here it is, it's on there. Now we're gonna press it down real good and hold it on there for at least 30 seconds. Okay, there you go. First one, not too shabby. Feels pretty solid. I'm not gonna test it yet. I'm gonna let it adhere, but it looks nice. Moving on, let's do the whole left hand together. Next I've got, let's see, this is a size six. Go over to your tab, find your size six. And sometimes, like I said, it's gonna wanna stick on there. I just kind of mess with it. 
There we go. The last time around, I didn't make sure that I was getting it on there just evenly. So that's what I'm gonna try to really make sure to do this time. Once again, you wanna make sure your cuticles are pressed back. Here we go. I got this on my skin a little bit. So I'm gonna use the wooden stick to kind of just separate that. Take your nail. Press her down. Okay, this might be the best one I've done so far. One thing that's tricky is getting it as close to the cuticle or a little bit under the cuticle as possible. I honestly might have a little bit too short of nails right now because I'm having a little bit of a hard time making sure I get the sticky just on the nail. Overall, not too shabby. It's looking good. Sides are covered. Everything's looking good. Sounding solid. Got number seven on this one. Sometimes it's easier if you come from the side because it doesn't want to come up by itself all the time. So there we go. Just kind of flicking at it kind of helps to get it on there. I think this is probably the best one I've done as far as the tab goes. I'm gonna kind of start at the cuticle, push it down. Kind of make sure as close as beautiful. There we go. Hand number one. Not too shabby. It is definitely a learning curve. So I feel like I'm getting better with each finger. But overall, like, they feel so solid. It's like blows my mind every time how hardy and how like of a good stick this is. It says super stick, it literally means it. Like these nails are going nowhere. Like I can push on it, going nowhere. One thing about me is I'm gonna be hitting my nails on everything, so they have to make sure it's a good hold. So hand number one, done. I'm gonna turn off the camera and do the second hand and then we will be right back. Before, we're back. Here's a little after, all 10 fingers done. And I've got to say, I think they look lovely. They're feeling quite hardy, durable. I think they're going to be on for a solid week again. I love this design. I think it's so cute. One thing I want to mention that I don't think I really harped on enough is whenever you're doing these tabs, you want to like mess with the purple so you can get it off of this because you don't want to take the whole purple off with the sticky. Afterwards, whenever you you know, or sizing up your finger, you wanna make sure while you're putting on the sticky to hold this down for 30 seconds as well. So make sure you fully give it a chance to latch onto the nail before you go on with the actual nail and hold that on for 30 seconds as well. So overall, a minute per finger, a minute per nail, and you've got a solid hold. So that's something I really made sure to do on the right hand that I think I kind of skipped over on the left hand. I really like this extra short length. It is, you know, still a little bit of a nail, but nothing that's gonna get in my way of typing or, you know, taking out my contacts, taking out earrings. I think this is a very livable length. Okay. There you have it, there's your full set of nails. I'm a new woman, I've got a new level of confidence about me. I hope this helped, I hope it gave you a good idea of maybe something different to try with your nails, or if you have them already, how to put them on. It is a learning curve. Overall, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you will like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye. Thank you.